Next, microplastics can trigger once they get into the testicle. They can increase the amount of inflammation within that testicle and in doing so create oxidative stress on the sperm that are being produced. The DNA within that sperm can be damaged internally and because their DNA is damaged, the chances of that sperm being able to achieve reproductive success or to fertilize an egg, those chances are a lot lower when the DNA within that sperm is damaged. And finally, because microplastics can breach that blood testes barrier, there's a very unique barrier that separates the testicles from the rest of the bloodstream. It's called the blood testes barrier. Because microplastics are able to invade through that barrier, there's a theoretical risk of damaging that barrier, therefore allowing other toxins to come into the testicle, whereas before those toxins weren't necessarily making their way into their testicle. So all of that cascade can really negatively impact testicular function, sperm production, and hormone production within the testicle. Plastics, and specifically microplastics, can act as a Trojan horse as they carry a bunch of endocrine disruptors into the cells of your body, your heart, your lungs, and now we know into your testicles and even into your penis. Although we're still trying to figure out the negative impact from this, the way we think about this is the more microplastics you have in the penis, specifically the erectile bodies of the penis, that could create inflammation. And what inflammation can do is it can increase the amount of scarring and the loss of the elasticity within the corporal bodies or within the erectile bodies of the penis. And that could obviously cause worsening erectile function. It could decrease the amount of or the amount of blood flow into the penis and the strength of your erections, but it could also cause Peyronie's disease. We're still trying to figure this out, but we now see that there are microplastics within the penis in some men who are exposed to significant amounts of microplastics.